let's begin with how to program your calculator to compute two resistors in parallel. Consider these two 5 ohm and 7 ohm resistors and consider also that those values of resistances are already at the bottom of the stack. Like this. The two resistances are already at the bottom of the stack. What are the steps to connect them in parallel? We know. First, we invert 5, then we invert 7, we add them together, and we find the inverse of the whole thing, and that is going to be the equivalent resistance. But now, in this calculator, and that would be like, assuming that the values are already on the stack, we invert the one at the bottom, then we swap them, we invert the other, we add those inverses, and we find the inverse of the total. And that will provide for us in one, two, three, four, five keystrokes the parallel of two resistors. Let's do that. In this case, we begin by inverse. Absolutely. Swap. Inverse. Addition. Inverse. And that 2.917 is the equivalent resistance of 5 in parallel with 7. Now, every time I want to compute two resistors in parallel and the two resistances are in, on the stack, I just press inverse, swap, inverse, addition, inverse. Wouldn't it be nice if we could teach that sequence of keystrokes to the calculator? Oh, we can. All we have to do is surround those keystrokes with the chevrons like this. And that tells the calculator this is this is a series of keystrokes that you are to memorize. Let's do that. In the calculator, chevrons are here in red. Red chevrons. And now we go push inverse and instead of executing that, it memorizes that we want it to press inverse in the future, then swap. When I'm teaching the calculator a series of keystrokes, don't use this key because this key means move to the right in this case. So to enter swap in there, we will have to green programs, stack operations, write this one, swap. Absolutely, swap inverse, add and inverse. Well, now we are ready. We have the entire sequence between chevrons. I type enter, and that sequence is now on the stack in level one. But that is no use to us yet. We need to store that in a variable so that we can use that over and over again. How? Well, the same way as if this was a numerical value. Apostrophe, alpha, alpha, any name. I'm going to call that par for parallel, P-R-L. PRL for parallel, kill alpha, one one third, store, and I have stored that sequence in the variable PRL. Where is that? In var. Over here. Now, when I push this key, F1, instead of retrieving the contents of that variable, it will execute the sequence I taught the calculator. Let's see. The sequence assumes that the values of the resistances are already on the stack. Let me put them there. 7, enter, 5, enter. And now we push the key for this sequence. And that is the result of putting those two in parallel every time. Let's put 5, enter in parallel with 5. I push this program because that is what it is. And I say 5 in parallel with 5 is 2.5. Let's use that. Let's say I want to compute the equivalent resistance between A and B of all of those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 resistors. So let me begin with these two, 3 and 4 in parallel. I enter 3, enter 4, parallel. We have this already. In series with 2, 2, addition. Is that in parallel with 5? Five parallel. So far, we have this resistance. In series with six, six addition. Now these three in parallel, seven, eight, and nine. Seven, enter, eight, parallel, nine, 
parallel addition. The equivalent resistance of the whole thing is 10.77. We say the equivalent resistance between A and B is 10.77 ohms. Nice, eh?